Olá pessoas, tudo bem? Olha eu aqui de novo. Muito obrigado pelos comentários. Estou muito feliz pelo interesse de, de vocês. Hoje é cerveja inglesa. So before we start, as usual, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't followed me on Instagram already, then follow me on Instagram, it's Falecon Jake. The link is down in the bio. So yes, today I'm going to talk about the stuff that I brought in Brazil. Um, some of it for myself and some of it for family. Um, these are like the type of things that I cannot buy in England um, or are really expensive in England and cheaper to buy in Brazil. I brought a few things from shoes to alcohol, of course, and to um, things like chocolates. First thing, coffee. This is pretty much the standard coffee in Brazil sold in most shops and I was drinking it throughout most of my time in Brazil. I enjoyed it. Um, obviously we got loads of coffee in England, but I thought it'd be quite nice to bring back some Brazilian coffee for my parents. Um, my brother is a big coffee drinker as well, so I brought him some coffee. Uh, or coffee Forte do Brasil. So apparently it's extra strong. Strong coffee from Brazil. Global Balachi or Biscoito, depending where you're from. The, the first time I had these was on the beaches of Rio um, in my first few weeks when I was sunbathing on the beach of Ipanema and I seen some guy carrying a big bag of these and I was really curious so I brought some and I really like these a nice little gift that I brought back for my family to try my family hasn't been to Brazil so it's nice for them to, to experiment with these things the Yoki, Yoki Pipoca yeah I never tried this flavour but it's been recommended and I thought I would buy it for my nieces because they probably enjoy sweet things and some sweet popcorn that you could put in a microwave from Brazil. Seemed like a cute thing to buy. Garoto. Garoto. Yes. I like Garoto chocolate and I thought I'd buy these for my brother and his girlfriend. A good variety of Brazilian treats in. Obviously they have the two buttons in there. And a whole different variety of other chocolates. So I thought it'd be cool to bring these back so my family can try a variety of different Brazilian chocolates. This Franco. These are for me. I confess these are for me. Um, I really enjoy eating these with a cup of tea. If you know me, if you watch my videos already, you know I love a cup of tea. I'm English, of course I love a cup of tea. And I love dipping these in my cup of tea. So I bought these for me and I'm gonna enjoy these with a nice cup of tea. Again, another thing for me, being a bit selfish. They go really well with a cup of tea. Um, and if you see my video earlier that I made before about biscoito versus bolacha, um, you know that I like dipping passatempo, marango in my cup of tea. This is what we love to do with tea and biscuits is dip them in. Uh, and it makes it a little soggy. Poro Senora. 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 Sounds like the word Senora. It confuses me. The senora, 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 Senora. Carrot or Senor. I don't know how to pronounce it differently. It sounds the same to me. But yeah, so I brought, I love to bake and I thought I'd buy this as a quick mixture um, that I can share and make for my family. But what would be nice is if I make it from the fresh ingredients, which I will try to do, but I thought it'd be cool to buy this just as a quick way to make a cake. Um, by the way, guys, I'm thinking about doing uh, some YouTube videos of me baking Brazilian cakes because I love to bake. It's something that I've always done since I was a kid and I enjoy baking cakes. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to, to film myself baking some Brazilian cakes. Um, so I thought that might be a good 
a good video to make, something to post on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. Should I start making videos about me baking cakes? Put it down in the comments, yes or no. Okay, so I love buttons and my favourite is Branco. Uh, button Branco. And I wish I bought more of these, but I didn't. But I managed to get some of the, um, the other ones. So I bought a few boxes of these. Um, because these are perfect for dipping in a cup of tea as well and you yeah, have 16 buttons here which is enough to keep me going for at least a month and until I return I will try and savour these buttons that I enjoy so much <laughs> because once I run out I'm going to have to go all the way back to Brazil to get some more so this is kind of something that I always enjoyed was maracuja, suco maracuja. Um, obviously, I prefer it naturally. If I could have brought back a bag of maracujas, I would have done, but it's a little bit difficult to transport them on a flight. So instead, I brought maracuja powder that, that I can have a drink, that I can make into a drink, and I can feel nostalgic about having suco maracuja. Brought back this. Uh, Coca-Cola con café. Never had this before until I went to Brazil and you know I don't typically drink Coca-Cola but this is really nice and I love coffee. It's refreshing and something to boost the energy levels when I was at home trying to study study Portuguese. I brought this, <laughs> I brought this in Brazil and I really like this. It's kind of cute. It's, it's uh, something that I can cut the lines up on and it's just basically got the simple ingredients for a caipirinha. Obviously, for caipirinhas, we need to have cachaça. So I brought back just a few bottles of cachaça. This one is from uh, Alambique in just outside of Brasilia um, that we went to for a day trip. And um, this is probably one of the best cachaças I've had it's very nice, smooth, um, not something that I would be making a caipirinha from, but something that I would be drinking just by itself because it's too good to spoil. This one is tastes like fuel, it's horrible. And I don't know why I brought it, it looked, it looked good. I brought it my last few days in Rio and it, it's advertised as uh, Montañas do Rio de Janeiro. And yeah, so I thought it would taste great. Ah, it's awful. It just smells awful. It, I'm probably gonna take this to like a barbecue or something and just put it on a table and hope that someone else drinks it. Or maybe I can make some caipirinhas from it and it will disguise the terrible taste of this cachaça. So I brought one of these, great for taking to parties or chahascos and making caipirinhas for everyone. So I brought a couple bottles of these as well that these are a lot cheaper to buy in Brazil. In the UK, these cost £30, and it's a lot of money. Um, in, in UK money, £30 to buy in, in, in the UK. In Brazil, it cost me £2. So these are cute, muito fofo, muito, muito fofo. So I have a little nephew who's been born this year, and I have another little nephew that's been born in November. So I bought two, two little pairs of Havaianas um, for them and I thought they'd be very cute. Again, these are sold in the UK but they were very expensive to buy um, so it made sense to buy, buy these in Brazil and bring them back as a gift for my brothers and their partners. And on the topic of nephews and nieces, these I'm sure most of you may already know about Melissa shoes. I mean, if you're from Brazil, you probably definitely know about Melissa shoes. And I brought these for my niece because they're so cute as well. And I know she would love these type of shoes. They smell so good. I love going into the Melissa shops and they just smell so good. It has such a great smell. But yeah, they're very cute and they're, they're very nice, um, good quality shoes that my niece would probably love. Alchemist book, it's all in Portuguese. 
Um, the great thing about this book is I have already read it in English, um, so it'd be good to re read it in Portuguese, which uh, is quite a complex book, but you know, since I have read it in English already, um, hopefully I will be I will be able to partially understand um, the Portuguese written in this book, and it'd be good to just sort of expose myself to some new Portuguese words. So yeah, I thought I would buy this in Brazil as the writer is from Brazil, it only seemed right to buy the book from Brazil as well. I also brought some Pasoca. I uh, brought this for my family to try. I really enjoyed Pasoca. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to bring some back for my family to try it out. Um, yeah, that's that one, Pasoca. My sister-in-law is a vegan, so I managed to find some vegan chocolate in Brazil. Um, yes. Yeah, I found it in Rio. But yeah, so some vegan chocolate in Brazil, from Brazil. I thought it'd be a nice gift for my sister-in-law and brother who are both vegan. And finally, no, is it final? I don't know, but we'll just do this. Churros Garoto Chocolate. Um, this is my personal favorite chocolate from Brazil. It is the Churros version of Garoto. And I brought back three of these for everyone to try because I thought that people would like it and it's unique it's something that we don't have in England so yeah that's it I've also brought back some little some little souvenirs to pass to other family members and friends Rio de Janeiro um, just see yeah, these little things yeah and that's it um, yeah so that is what a gringo brings back from Brazil. An English gringo anyway. Gringo English. Yeah, so that's everything that I brought back from Brazil. For me, personally, the most important thing was the cachaças because I've got more caipirinhas to make and I'm going to miss making caipirinhas. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today. I promise I will start trying to speak some more Portuguese. I'm still learning and it's only been two months that I've been learning Portuguese, so I still have a long way to go. But I really do want to start speaking more Portuguese in these videos and it's something that I will try and do. Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to Falecon. Jake, the subscribe button is down there. Make sure you hit the like button too and check out my Instagram, it's Falecon Jake. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Ciao.